Hello, my friends. I'm so happy to make one more lesson for you. It's lesson number 10. And today we'll talk about nominative case in Russian language. But first of all, as usual, I'll read you a text. You follow me, and today you'll learn some new words. These words are твой, твоя, твоё, your and yours. Your, yours, it is твой for masculine, твоя for feminine, and твоё for neuter gender. Look at this table. You already know the words мой, моя, моё. And it is my, mine. And it is easy to remember твой, твоя, твоё. Just change m, m on tv. Мой, твой. Моя, твоя. Моё, твоё. So, let's read. Здравствуйте. Я Ирина. Я учитель. Как дела? How are you? Это мой брат Антон. Он школьник. Антон умный, смелый и красивый. Также, also, Антон хороший фотограф. А это моя сестра Таня. Она студентка. Вот она. Таня красивая, добрая и умная. Она хороший дизайнер. Я люблю кино. Мой любимый актер Киану Ривз. Какой твой любимый актер? Я люблю читать. Моя любимая книга – Гарри Поттер. Какая твоя любимая книга? Я люблю кафе. Мое любимое кафе – Старбакс. Какое твое любимое кафе? At this table you can see different pronouns, different forms of pronouns. What are pronouns? They are parts of speech which we can use instead of a noun. So you know some of them. This singular form is familiar to you. Я, I, ты, and polite form V means you. Он for masculine, она, оно, he, she, it. And you know how to say меня, for example, меня зовут, тебя, вас, его, ее, его. For new to gender, we use form его the same as for masculine. And now I want to introduce you the plural form of pronouns. Plural form of я is мы, мы, we, вы, you. This V is absolutely the same as polite form V. And in English, it is also the same. You, you. It means that in English speakers are very polite and they also talk to each other in a polite form. And in old English, old fashioned English, there was word V. And this is exactly this theme. And in Russian, it is still used in our speech. Они means they. And this plural, нас, вас, их. When we ask about names or we talk about our names, we say нас, вас, их in plural form. Меня, нас, тебя, вас, его, ее, их. And some examples. Меня зовут Катя. Катя is a female Russian name. Тебя зовут Ваня. Ваня is a male name. Его зовут Коля. Его. It's for masculine, so you can just, uh, just make decision that Коля is masculine. It is male man, male name. Ее зовут Таня. Нас зовут Катя и Таня. Вас зовут Ваня и Коля. I know it. <laughs> Их зовут Таня и Ваня. 
I think if it is a little bit tricky for you now, it will continue to get easier with time. And some more examples. With examples, you just understand it better. Я студент, мы студенты. Do you remember that student in Russian is not the same as in English student? We use word student for those who are college students. And for school students, we use the word школьники. Школьник, школьники. Ты студент? Вы студенты. Polite form – вы студент. And plural form – вы студенты. You see, here is no «ы» in the polite form, because we are talking with one person. We don't have to say it, say to him in plural form. Он студент, она студентка. Они студенты. Они студентки. So, this form for uh, fe feminine, feminine form, studentka, we can use in plural form when they, there are only girls in a group. Они студентки, when we talk about girls or females. When we talk about boys, we say они студенты. And also, if there are boys and girls together, the, we say Они студенты. No questions. Вы студент? Да, я студент. Do you remember how to make questions? Intonation goes up. Вы студенты? Plural form. Да, мы студенты. Они школьники? Нет, они студенты. Вы школьницы? Вы школьницы? Нет, мы студентки. And here are some more examples. It is a lesson of examples today. The words мои, твои. It is a plural form for мой, твой. And it is the same for masculine, feminine and neuter. There are no difference. For example, in singular form, it is мой, моя, моё. And plural form is мои for everything, every gender. And твои as yours, твои. Это твои карандаши. Вот это. Да, мои. Это твои бабушки? Да, мои. Это твои окна? Over here on the fourth floor. Да, мои. You see, we have карандаши, it is masculine. Бабушки, feminine, and окна, it is neuter gender. And we also use the same word твои and Мои. It is easy peasy. Это твой автобус? Нет, не мой. This is how we say no in Russian. Это твой? Нет, не мой. We use this particle не. Не мой. Твой? Мой. Не твой? Не мой. Это твоя школьная форма. Нет, не моя. And we use this pronoun моя in the same gender with this. Форма. Форма is the boss here. It is feminine. So, школьная adjective has the ending ая. Твоя has the ending ая. And моя has the ending not ая, оя, sorry. Твоя, we just pronounce it твоя. Because the stress is on ya, or is not stressed. And maya has the ending oya also. So this is feminine gender. Это твое видео. Нет, не мое. Это не мое видео. So, and here we have both word video. 
It is new to gender, and we have all the new to endings here. Твое, мое. And some more questions. Это твой или мой паспорт? Do you remember или? It means or. Это твой или мой паспорт? Вот это. Это мой паспорт. Это твоя или моя гитара? Это твоя гитара. Гитара твоя, моя. See, it is all feminine in all, this, in all the sentence. Это твое или мое манго? Это твое манго. So, manga is the boss here. That's why all the endings are for new gender. Your. Твое или мое? Твое. And now, wow, my favorite part of Russian. It is the cases. A lot of people are afraid of it, but it is not so complicated. Now, listen. In Russian, the word order in the sentence is flexible because the relationship between words are shown by word endings. You already noticed it, that it is very important to pay attention on endings of the words. These endings are used to build different word forms, which are divided into several groups called cases. Cases, cases are the forms of nouns adjectives, pronouns, and numerals to represent their grammatical function in a sentence. The Russian language has six cases, nominative, accusative, prepositional, genitive, dative, and instrumental. The nominative case, which we will talk about today, shows the subject it is a person or a thing performing the action in a sentence. Who is this? What is this? Кто это? Что это? Are the questions for the nominative case. And here are some examples. Что это? Это моя школа. Школа here is in nominative case. Какая твоя школа? Also nominative. Она, this pronoun она большая и красивая all this subject is nominative case что это это карандаш карандаш is nominative case какой это карандаш он синий here он is nominative case also анна и наташа школьницы it is nominative case они подруги Мои бабушка и дедушка старенькие. Do you remember this, Yenk? Какой сейчас месяц? Сейчас октябрь. So all these words are nominative case. Just statement or question, what's this? You talk about something and it is nominative case. To explain it better, I'd like to use some English examples, and you will understand what, when it is nominative or some different case. For example, Moscow is the largest city in Russia. Here, Moscow is the main word of the, of the sentence. It is a subject. We have one more noun, Russia, and city, and they are not in nominative case. Mm -hmm. Only Moscow is. In Russia is where. Where. It is a different case. I will not tell you right now. You don't need it. <laughs> You'll know about it later. Birds eat worms and other insects. So here birds is the word in nominative case. And insects is not. It is different case. We are interested in this word today. My parents went to Spain for vacation last year. We have a lot of nouns here, Spain, vacation, year, but only parents uh, is a subject of this sentence and it is nominative case. Remember only this today. My little puppy likes to play catch with me when we go for a walk to the beach. In this case, we have 
kind of two subjects, this puppy and we, we go, puppy likes and we go, you see? And it is nominative case, this word, puppy, and this pronoun, we. My brother's cat is eating her breakfast. Here is a cat, which is an innominative case. I like flowers because they are beautiful. We have two words in nominative case in this subject, in this sentence, I'm sorry. So, I hope it will be easier with time. And believe me, it will. It cannot be other way. And this is the table you have to print out from your computer because it is the base of Russian language. This is the, these are the endings of nominative case. And you know what? I have a good news. You already know them all. Yes, we already learned all of them. It's only 10th lesson and you already know a lot in Russian language. Yes. So, these nouns, and we have nouns, adjectives, pronouns, and numerals with their endings. And this form and this form are basic forms. You can find it in, in the vocabularies. If you look up into the dictionary, you'll find the, uh, the words in this form with these endings. And you already know them. Yes, isn't it great? All you have to know is how to form plural and this uh, feminine and neuter and plural form of adjectives. That's it. Okay, print it out and you'll get five more of these tables. And this is the heaviest part of Russian. Can you believe it? Is it so, is it so tough? No, I don't think so. Okay, guys, you are doing great job. Молодцы. Выучи слова. Мой, моя. Майо, мои. Твой, твоя, твое, твои. Мы. Вы. Они. That's it for today. Good job. Thank you for your attention. And today, in the end of the lesson, I'd like to talk about the word пожалуйста. It is a very interesting word in Russian. It has more than one meaning. For example, when we say, can I have please? This word please is пожалуйста in Russian. Дайте мне, пожалуйста. Дайте мне бургер, пожалуйста. Can I have a burger, please? And someone who gives it to you, he says, Here you are. And in Russian we say, Вот, пожалуйста. Hmm. Then you say, Thank you. Спасибо. And person answers, You are welcome. Пожалуйста. So, it's unbelievable. You can use Russian пожалуйста in three different ways. Пожалуйста, please. Пожалуйста, here you are. And пожалуйста, you are welcome. Look, it is a very useful word. One word for three situations. Okay, guys, до свидания. Пока-пока.